Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tell if a sound is mono or stereo in reverb. Now the purpose of this video is if someone sends you some stems or tracks or samples to know ahead of time if they're stereo or mono. As we can see in this project, all these files look to be stereo, but they may not be. And I'm going to show you how to tell the difference. And also, if you want to send some stems or samples or tracks to other people, you want to make sure you send mono files if they're mono sounds and stereo files if they're stereo sounds. Or if you just want to render your tracks, we can right click this one, go to render, and decide if you want to render them as mono stem tracks or stereo stem tracks. Or if you want to freeze them, freeze them as mono or stereo. So let's go through how to tell the difference. As we can see in this project, I have many different loops, performances, or samples. Let's hear this first loop. We want to check to see if it's really stereo. As we can see, there's left and right channels, but it may not have stereo information. So we can check this with a plugin. Let's go to the track effects and let's search polarity. And let's choose the plugin right here stereo channel volume, pan, and polarity control. Double click it. And here's that plugin. And with this plugin, we could adjust the left or right volume, the left or right pan, and the left or right phase or polarity. So let's start by inverting the polarity on the left side. We could do this on the right side if you prefer, as the result will be the same. But just do it on one or the other, not both. So we play this loop now. Notice it sounds kind of hollow because the left side is at a phase with the right side. So now we need to cancel both sides out to see if there's any information left over. Because if there is, this loop is stereo. And we could do that by changing the pan to be zero or the center on both channels. And now, if this loop is mono, we shouldn't hear any sound. Let's play it. Notice we still hear sound and we see level on the output. And what we're hearing is the difference between the left and right channel. If we bypass it, it sounds like this. Put it back on, it sounds like this. So this loop is stereo. But let's try it with this loop. Before, it sounds like this. Turn it on, and it disappears. No level shows up, and we're not hearing anything. So this loop is mono. Before, and after. So really, if we needed to render this loop, we would render it mono right over here. There's no reason to render it stereo or freeze it or render the track as a mono file. And for using this, we should really double click it and change the channel mode to be mono mix left and right. And now, it looks like this, but it's going to sound the same. Let's check our samples. I have two kick samples and two snare samples. Let's start with this first kick. Let's move this plugin, hold on the PC, option on the Mac, and drag it to this track. 
put it down here. We'll start with it bypassed. And let's hear the difference. Still hearing the room sound, which is the difference between the left and right speaker. So this sound is stereo. Now let's try this one. Turn on this plugin. And we don't hear the sound. We don't see it on the meter. So this kick sample is mono. Let's try the snare, bypass it, turn it on. We still hear some sound and see it on the meter. So the snare sample is stereo. And finally, let's try this one. Turn it on. It disappears completely and we don't see it on the meter. So that sample is mono. Let's try it on this guitar. As you can see, it imported as a stereo file, but it might not be. Let's drag this over. Bypass it and turn it on. And again, we don't hear it or see anything on the meter. So this guitar is mono. Let's also hear this piano. Move the plug-in to here, move it up here, leave it bypassed. Turn it on. And we could hear and see it's quite stereo. So we'll keep this track stereo. For sending it out to someone else or printing stems, we're just rendering it or freezing it for stereo purposes. And then finally, this will also work for MIDI sounds. But before we do that, let's save this as an effects chain, making it easier to use it from project to project. And I like to keep it bypassed at first so I could turn it on to hear the difference. Let's right click it, go to effects chains, and save this effect as an effects chain. I'll name it check stereo or mono, save it. And now, right down here, I have a MIDI track which has a VST plugin on it. Let's hear it. Let's say we wanted to bounce or render this track or freeze it, and we're not sure if we want to do it mono or stereo. Just go to this track and right click, go to Effects Chains, and choose Check Stereo or Mono, which opens up the plugin, play the sound, turn it on, and we still hear it and see level over here. So this sound is stereo. But if we go to our presets, we can go through each one and make sure they're all stereo. Notice this one is silent. Let's turn this off. But with this plugin turned on, we don't hear it or see it on the meter. So this preset is mono. So if we wanted to render it to another track, to a separate file, or just freeze it in this project, we would freeze it to mono, which is much more useful for you or for anyone we're sending files to that want to use the correct type, whether mono or stereo. So that's pretty much it. That's how to tell if a sound is mono or stereo in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bye.